Hello everyone and welcome to another Revit tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to prepare a sheet in Revit. So let's get started. So scroll down and you should be able to find a sheets drop down over here. And you can see that by default Revit will have a sheet prepared. And if you want to add a new sheet for example you can just right click on sheets and click on new sheet and by default you should have the A1 metric standard loaded in. This includes a generic title block made by Autodesk. So if I were to click on OK, a new sheet title A101 will appear. So that's one way of adding a sheet. Another way that you can add a sheet is by going to the View tab over here and clicking on the Sheet button found in the Sheet Composition subsection of the View tab. So clicking on this sheet button once you should find this new sheet window appear and it has the same title block as before so if I click on OK Revit will create a new sheet for me. So those are the two main ways of creating a sheet either by right clicking on sheets and clicking on new sheet or you could click on the sheet button located in the sheet composition subsection of the view tab. So now let us open up a100 as well. So one way of bringing a floor plan view into a sheet in Revit is by clicking and dragging the floor plan or the elevation or whatever view it is that you have and dragging it to the sheet and automatically Revit will give you this uh, view to place. So if I left click once Revit will place the floor plan for level 0 down here. And as you can see this drawing is rather small in the sense that it doesn't occupy the vast space of this A1 sheet. So what you can do is go and scroll down and click on crop view and crop region visible. So if I select this view over here and double click it and select the border. I can actually go and minimize the space taken up by this view. So I can narrow it down like so. And I can hide these elevation markers there. And I can double click elsewhere. And there you go. So this uh, level 0 plan view is already shrunk. And now I can just select this level 0 floor plan view. And select a larger scale. And as you can see, it pretty much fits nicely. All I need to do is uh, just minimize it slightly more on this side here. Then this level 0 marker here will be able to fit. So I'll just quickly resize this again. And there we go. So you can individually select this level 0 marker here and you can drag it all the way here like so and the only way you can extend it is by selecting this view and dragging this line out like so. So that's how you can bring in a view into this Revit sheet. So you'll practically just need to go and uncheck on crop region visible and just keep the crop view as tick and you'll have this nice fitting level 0 plan over here. And that's it for this video today folks. I hope that you found this short Revit tutorial useful. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel by showing this video to people that need it the most. And if you want to watch more Revit tutorials or Plexus 2D tutorials, do consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. And as always, I hope that you're safe in these unprecedented times. Take care, keep learning, and goodbye.